Hello and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I want to show you how you can find one sided limits using a graph. So, recall that uh, when working with these one sided limits, we'll be approaching some value of x from either the left side or the right side. And our clue on which side we're approaching will be that little uh, symbol uh, that looks like a power on the, the value it's approaching. So if it's a negative sign, it'll be approaching from the left side, positive sign approaching from the right. All right, let's go ahead and jump into some examples, see how this is going to work. All right, so in this first one, we are going to look at the limit of the function as x approaches three from the right side. So we begin by first finding three on our graph and think of what's happening as we're approaching it from the right side. So I suggest maybe following the function as you're approaching three from the right and see the y value that you're getting really close to. So I'm approaching three from the right side. Looks like the y value wants to be five. So that would be the right sided limit. Okay, we'll do a very similar one. We'll also approach three from the left side. There's our value again. Now I'm following along this arm of the function. We can see that the y value wants to be a one. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, when you're doing a regular limit, you're essentially checking the right and the left sided limits to see if you get the same value. So in this third example, notice how there's no little symbol indicating which side I should be approaching. So that's my clue that this is just a regular every old day limit. So I need to make sure that the right handed limit and the left handed limit are the same. Well, fortunately, we've already computed these and we can see that they're not the same. So we can say that the, the limit at three does not exist. Okay, let's do one with uh, some negatives. In this next one, I want to look at uh, what is happening to the function as x approaches negative seven from the left side. Let's go ahead and find that negative seven. Okay, we can see that here's our function. It has a value at negative seven, and we want to approach it from the left side. Notice how that's a bit of a problem. There is no function to follow and actually figure out what it's approaching as we're, you know, coming into this negative seven from the left. That means that, you know, this limit actually does not exist. However, we can look at the limit as we approach from the right side. That's because there actually is a function there that we can look at. So what is the value, uh, or what is the value of the limit as x approaches negative seven from the right side? Oh, this one looks like it wants to be a negative five. So watch for those situations that have breaks or gaps and definitely try and follow the function into a value. Let's look at just a few more. My next function here, uh, we'll be looking at uh, what the value of the function is as x approaches four and notice how this is from the left side. So find four, follow that function as you get really close to four, note that y value. So this one is approaching six. Okay, this one says uh, find the value of the limit as g of x, or as x approaches negative six from the right. So here's my negative six. We'll be approaching in from the right side. Look at the y value. This guy's getting close to three. Awesome. Okay, uh, what is the value as x approaches negative six from the left side now? Okay, that's what the little negative sign is telling me. Uh, so it looks like we are approaching three as well. Okay, notice how on this one, if I approach from the right side and the left side, they both equal three, which means if I'm looking at just a regular old everyday limit, this will also equal three. So one-sided limits are actually not so bad when you look at the graph, and just remember that you're only coming in from one side or the other. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.